uh, you need to have very good resume. Okay. So resume part, what I will suggest. Okay. I will share initial draft. Okay. And then you need to update that resume based on your project, company, experience, whatever you have. Based on that, you will update that resume. Okay. In initial draft also, I will, I will mention many things, okay, about the project and things, but uh, you need to customize it based on your current profile, okay. So once you will be ready with your updated version of resume, okay. Then uh, we will have one to one call to update this resume. Okay. Then I will sit with you, people, one to one, and then we'll help you to make final resume. To make final resume. Okay. So this will be our first part. Okay. Second part in interview part, there will be lots of things. Okay. Where you will have fixed set of question that they will definitely ask. Okay, so. In interview, there will be fixed set of question. Okay. So first we will prepare for this fixed set of question. Okay, and this will be again uh, based on uh, each person. Okay, like let's say if person A, like Bass is giving interview. So for him, answer will be a bit different. And if uh, someone else is giving, then uh, answer will be different. Okay. So what kind of question they will ask here? Okay. So first they will ask about the introduction. Okay. So introduction part also, what I will do, I will share one script. Okay. So here also I will share one script okay and then you need to update that script as per your profile okay so script will contain lots of things and based on your profile let's say i will mention there seven year of experience but you have five year okay so you will update five year i will mention uh, work for company abc and you work for pqj pqr then you need to mention that company name okay that kind of update you need to do okay a part of that your experience company there will be a slight difference in project also okay many of you has already created the business scenario of your project what you are going to use in in your interview okay so that part also you need to slightly uh, update in this part okay so here also i will share the script you need to modify And then here also I will do one to one. Okay. To make it final one. Okay. So this will be introduction part. Okay. Second question they will ask about your project. Okay. So this part also like uh, whatever project you work with us, okay, that project you will use. A part of that, if you have used any other project, okay, where you have very good experience and you can explain things about the uh, team size, your role responsibility, okay, project methodology, like what kind of project was there. So if you can mention all those things, then it will be good. And additionally, I will support you to update that part Okay, to make it more uh, and like more uh, to make it better answer, like how you will explain the project. Okay, so whatever input you have for your previous experience, if you have worked in IT, okay, so first you will capture all those things and then I will help you to customize that one. Okay, and I will add my input to make it more like uh, suitable for the interview. Okay, so you can. Explain it very well in while giving your sir. Input. One thing, yes. 
Uh, actually, yeah, I th- I think we all are like uh, mentioning this project only. So please, uh, you can take template of this project only. Like what questions can be put from this? Uh, yeah, that part will come. Counter question, project related counter question will come. At this okay. moment, I am explaining what you will explain at the time of project. Okay. So you can use same claim journey. Okay. And let's say someone already worked for the uh, hospital uh, like uh, this. Uh, insurance domain or someone has already worked for the banking domain and someone has already uh, worked for the. Healthcare domain, OK, so they will use same project explanation and there we will add this particular development part what you did in project. OK. So if you have already worked on healthcare domain, so you can explain that healthcare domain in detail. OK, since you have a real time experience there. What was your role responsibility? How many team members were there? OK, what were like? Uh, from where you are getting requirement things, all those things you can explain from there only. And additionally, I will help you to add this project experience. What you did with uh, real time project? OK. Like uh, what all API you develop, what all approach you followed, all those things we will add additionally. Okay. Before that, you need to explain the functionality of the project. Okay, what was your client was doing? Okay, so you need to mention few things about the client, about the project structure. Okay, so that if you don't have any background, then I will tell you. Okay, but if you have some background, so I will suggest to use your own background so it will be more real time. OK, you will able to answer naturally. Hope you are getting my point. OK, so in project part. Add your. Experience. Then again here we will have one to one. We'll customize it. We'll make it uh, customized and we'll make it final one. OK. So anyone has any concern on this part? So these are the def- like uh, fixed question. They will definitely ask. Okay, and then third thing will be challenge you test. Okay, so this part I will provide you a script. Okay, so mostly you people will not have uh, anything in mind. Okay, and here uh, not only you should tell what challenge you faced. You should be ready with the how you resolve that particular challenge. OK. Whenever they are asking this question, they don't want to know what problem you faced in your project. OK, they want to know how you resolve that problem. OK, so in this particular question. You should not highlight your weak point. You should highlight there was something technical problem or you can say technical challenge and Using your skill set, you resolve that problem. OK, so this part will be very tricky. And as I mentioned, their objective is not to know what problem you faced in your project. Their objective is to know how you resolve the problem. OK, so what problem you are highlighting that is not more important. Here, more important will be how you resolve that problem. And you have to like whenever you are showing problem here, you should not show problem something related to your capability. OK, you should show problem. Which is technically exist. OK, and using your capability, you resolve that technical issue. Everyone clear on this part. OK, so this this part I will help to. To script it. OK. 
then there will be some counter question on project. So this part also, I will help you what all counter question they will ask and what you need to answer. Okay, so few counter question will, you, will be very simple. Okay, like uh, counter question means uh, they will ask related question. Okay, so few related question will be what was your project like uh, structure or team size? What was your role and responsibility in that project? Okay, whom you were reporting? Okay, how many team members we are working under you? Okay. So all those things will be part of this counter question. Okay, and then challenge you first. We discuss this now. So these are the few questions you will definitely get. Okay, at the time of interview. So this area we need to work, and we can script it also. Okay no matter what company, what interview you are giving. So everywhere you will have same. And it's good to have, like it's good to prepare this kind of question, okay? Many things you need to answer real time, okay? When they will ask at the time of interview, you need to think and you need to answer. But if you know something that they will definitely ask, why not you can prepare yourself a bit for that, okay? So at the uh, starting of your interview, you will be more confident, okay? Generally, whenever you go for interview, there will be possibility you are a bit nervous. Okay. So if you will prepare this kind of question and initially you will able to be like you will able to answer those things, then you will get confidence. Okay. So this will be very important. Now, second set of question that will be technical question. Okay. For this second set of question, we will discuss uh, around 500 question. Okay. And like out of that 500 question, you will get like definitely they will ask 10 to 20 question. Okay. What is error handling? What is scatter gather? What is choice router? Okay. How batch processing work? Okay. All those question they will ask. And here in this technical question part. Okay. I can say 90% you will get from what we are going to discuss in few days. Okay, so this technical question, <laughs> weightage of this technical question, like this fixed question weightage will be 10 to 20%. 10 to 20%. Let's say in interview, they are asking 20 question. So two, three question will be from here or maximum four question will be here. Out of 20 question, okay, 10 to 15 question will be here from here only. So your 50 to 60 percent question will be from this area. Okay. So your 50 to 60 percent question will be from this area. And I can say like, out of this 90% question, whatever question will come, let's say 12 question is coming. So 10 question you will get directly from what we are going to prepare now. Okay, maybe uh, from next class, we will start that preparation. So we will discuss about those question and they have fixed number of question. They will definitely ask from there. And now it is trending part is data view. So this data view part is very trending and out of 10 interview, I can say seven to eight interview, they will ask you to share your screen and they will ask you to write data view. Okay. And most of the time they are moving around few functions. Okay. That is reduce function, filter, substring, map, Map object. And plug. So most of the question, what they will ask, those question will roam around these functions only. Okay. And in my uh, prior experience for last five, six interview, I have seen they will ask different question, but you you have to use same set of functionality to achieve that output. 
Okay. So we will practice on that part also. Give me one minute. So this part nowadays, like uh, in in interview, if you have twenty question, so definitely they will ask two to three question. Okay, so ten to twenty percent weightage will be from here. Okay, so this is the database part. Okay, and then next you will have scenario based question. Okay. So this part will be one of the gray area where most of the like uh, candidate uh, fails. Okay. Since uh, there is no limit of this scenario based question, okay, you don't know what they will ask. And uh, sometime in interview, your interview will be completely focused on this scenario based question. Not all interview, out of 10 interview, you can say two interview, they will not ask any technical question, data view question, they will ask only scenario based question. Okay, but other interview, okay, there will be like two to three scenario based question out of 10, eight interview will be there where scenario based question will be two to three or maximum four. Okay, two to four scenario based question will be there. But out of 10 interview, two interview will be there where they will completely roam around the scenario based question. Okay, so that two interview will be very difficult to crack as a beginner if you are, if you have started your career as a news of developer only. But if you are from integration background, no matter what integration background you are, in that case, you can clear that two interview also since anyhow integration concept is same. So there they will ask about the concept, not the how you are doing. Okay. So in this scenario based question also, there are many fixed question. Okay. Let's say if you have big size file, then how you will handle it, then suddenly like number of requests increased, then how you will handle it. Then uh, if something will be, uh, some record will fail in batch processing, how you will handle it. Then you have two flow like parent flow and sub flow. And in sub flow, you have on error propagate what will happen in parent flow. Okay, so there are uh, many fixed question on this part also. Okay, question will be same only, they may ask in different way, okay, but you need to understand, okay. So for that part also, we will do practice. So you, how you will able to understand which question belongs to, like there will be same question. They will, one interviewer will ask in different way, another will ask in different way, okay. So we will do practice on that part. So at least whatever question, whatever scenario based question we will discuss here, if there will be any related question, you will be able to speak. Okay. And as I mentioned, there are few fixed scenario based question, the, like uh, coming in interview. Okay. So those questions we will discuss here so that you will get more confident. Okay. So here we have like fixed set of question, technical interview, data weave, and scenario based question. Okay. So we will practice on this part. And then we will have mock interview. Okay, so this will like help you a lot. Okay, so first thing you will come to know which area you need to improve. Okay, once you will go through mock interview, you will come to know which area you need to improve. At the same time, uh, we will revise lots of technical question in this mock interview part. Okay. And what I will suggest here, if anyone giving interview, 
so keep collecting those questions okay so whenever like uh, we will have uh, like mock interview so we will use this those set of question in mock interview i have uh, many set of question but uh, i am expecting from you people also if you people are giving interview or if your friend or family anyone is giving interview just collect all those interview question what uh, recently uh, they got in the interview okay so we can use those set of question at the time of mock interview okay and definitely now you people will start giving interview so whenever you are giving interview just after interview make a note and post in our group okay so we can discuss those questions in our class also and we can use those question at the time of mock interview also so everyone will get chance uh, at the time of mock interview okay so we'll keep changing the uh, people for the like interview role okay so everyone will get chance to give mock interview Okay, so anything else uh, anyone has uh, like in your mind, like which should be included in this course? It is good, sir. It almost cover everything. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. It is good enough, sir. It is covered. It already it is covering everything, I guess. Yeah. So this is based on my understanding and many people like they are giving interview and they are coming to me for discussion part. Okay. So based on that experience only, I created all this. Okay. And yeah, if you will spend time properly, what I will guide you, whatever, whatever we will discuss, then definitely uh, it, it, like uh, you will able to clear the interview. Okay. Okay. So discussion part, I uh, will start tomorrow. Okay. So I will share in this group and let's start our discussion and things from next class. Okay, sir. One. Yes, go ahead. One more thing, sir. Uh, is not regarding this part. Sir, uh, you have.